Hi everyone, welcome to that session. In this session, I am continuing PyChart data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we have to solve the questions according to the information. Here the information is about uh, preference of students among six beverages in terms of uh, degree of angle in pie chart. Here whatever the information regarding the students information that is given in terms of degrees that is given in terms of uh, degrees uh, of six, uh, six beverages uh, in terms of degrees. Here if you observe carefully beverage P that is 79.2 degrees, 79.2 degrees. Here calculation uh, of seven, uh, degrees to percentage, uh, I already explained in the previous sessions. So first, uh, while before going to the entire process, uh, first convert each and every degrees into percentage so that the calculation part will be easy while you are solving the problems okay and one more information is given that is total number of students are 6800 total number of students are 6800 so first and foremost task what we have to perform is uh, convert each and every uh, beverage uh, into degrees to percentage first uh, beverage p which is nothing but uh, 79.2 degrees so how to convert degrees to percentage so it is uh, this particular beverage p is having 79.2 degrees out of total out of total 360 degrees so out of value will always comes under denominator 360 into 100 why because whenever you are calculating the percentage into 100 percentage symbol is uh, common right now if you observe carefully 0.2 i will write 79.2 is nothing but 792 divided by 360 actually but again here one more decimal point by time will come to the denominator into 100 percentage here two zeros two zeros cancel again 36 uh, two zero 72 again 7 will be the remainder 72 means again 2 22 percentage beverage p is equal to 22 percentage this is uh, 79.2 which is nothing but uh, 22 percentage remember there is a common terms uh, no need of calculating every time like this if you observe carefully 0 0.2 0 0.6 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.8 0 0.6 for each and every beverage after the decimal point only single digit is there so anyhow two zeros two zeros will cancel in the numerator as well as the denominator so irrespective of uh, these two values irrespective of these two values uh, in the numerator and denominator write down the de uh, numerator without decimal point and denominator is 36 for each and every beverage so it is very easy to convert their uh, uh, you know uh, degrees to percentage first uh, first beverage p is 22 percentage now it is uh, q q value 57.6 i don't want to write that point th 576 divided by 36 cancel this value 36 once 36 once 36 and next uh, uh, it will be left over with uh, 21 216 216 in the sense uh, 16 times uh, 6 times 36 6 uh, 216 uh, 16 percentage beverage q is equal to 16 percentage and next r r is equal to 144 divided by 36 uh, that is equal to 36 4 uh, 4 percentage that is beverage r next uh, s is equal to 1224 divided by 36 you can cancel with 36 table directly definitely it will cancel undoubtedly 36 uh, 3 is 108 and still 14 is left over right 14 and 4 144 144 means that is uh, 4 times 34 percentage s is equal to 34 percentage and next uh, t T is equal to 648 divided by 36, which is equal to 
here you can cancel with 36 table 36 ones are 36 uh, still uh, uh, we left over with uh, 28 uh, 288 it means uh, that is 8 times 36 eights uh, definitely it will cancel 18 percentage t is equal to 18 percentage and next uh, uh, that is V. Last and final one is uh, V. V is equal to 216 divided by 36. 36, 6, 216. 6 percentage. And if you observe T value, T value is exactly 3 times of uh, V. Beverage T is equal to 3 times of V. Beverage uh, V. Okay. So, this is 6 percentage and 3 times of 216 which is uh, 648. So you will get it as uh, 18 percentage. Now everything is converted into percentage. P is equal to 22, Q is equal to 16 and R is equal to 4 percentage. S is equal to 34 percentage and uh, uh, this is 6 percentage and this is 18 percentage. Total all together 100 percentage. This 100 percentage value is equal to 6800. Then 1 percentage value becomes 68. 1 percentage is equal to 68. Now, according to that, according to that, we can calculate each and every question. Very simple. See here. What is the difference between? We need to calculate the difference. Difference between what numbers? Total number of students who prefer the beverages P and R together. P and R together. And next, uh, total number of students who prefer S and V together. S and V together. Here, no need, uh, in this, uh, no need of calculate their uh, individual values. You can directly calculate their percentages. Uh, P plus R together. P is equal to 22. 22 percentage plus R is equal to 4 percentage and next S is equal to 34 percentage plus V is equal to 6 percentage. Now all together this is 40 percentage and this is uh, uh, 26 percentage. We need to calculate the difference between these two values. Uh, difference in the sense you need to take a uh, 40 percentage minus 26 percentage which is equal to 14 percentage but we want the exact number of students what is 14 percentage value just now we calculated that one percentage is equal to 68 then 14 percentage is equal to 14 into 68 calculate the answer 68 into 14 here it is 4 8 so 32 and next uh, 3 is the carry forward 4, 6, 24 plus 8, 20, uh, 4, 6, 24 plus 8, 32, 32 plus 3, 35. And next, uh, 6, 1, so 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 9, 52. 9, 52 is the difference between, 9, 52 is the exact difference between total number of students from P and R together and total number of students from S and V together. So that you will get the exact difference which is 952 option c is the right answer for this question and we need to remember each and every percentage this is a p22 q16 4 34 18 and 6 okay according to that we can calculate one by one here i will write uh, those percentages first one is 22 percentage second one is 16 percentage and this one is 4 percentage and this is uh, 34 percentage, 34 percentage, this is 34 percentage and this is 18 percentage and this is uh, 6 percentage, okay. These are the values. Every time it is better to write here uh, while explaining, uh, but in examination point of view, you don't have that issue. Now, the question is, uh, what is the respect to ratio between Number of students who prefer beverage V. Here we need to calculate the ratio between V and the number of students who prefer beverage P. V and P ratio. Uh, here number of students who prefer beverage V that is 6 percentage. And coming to P. P is uh, 22 percentage. Here there is no need of calculating their uh, values exactly. 
as you know the percentages uh, uh, if you want the exact number of students uh, how can you calculate basically six percentage of uh, six thousand eight hundred whereas coming to second one also same thing 22 percentage of 6800 these two values are common for both the values both beverages so no need of writing these two values directly you can cancel here you can cancel with two table two threes and two elevens therefore the ratio of those two beverage v and p that is 3 is to 11 option a is the right answer as we calculated previously the percentages first so now the task is very easy to get the answers okay and here also i will write the same thing beverage p is 22 percentage and this is 16 percentage this is 4 percentage and this is 34 percentage and it is 18 percentage and it is 6 percentage these are the values and next uh, look at uh, look at this question what is the question he is asking the number of students who prefer uh, the beverages t and v together are what percent of total number of students t and v together total number of students are always 100 percentage out of this 100 percentage t and v together forms how much percentage t is equal to 18 percentage plus r is equal to 6 per, sorry v is equal to 6 percentage all together all together 24 percentage that is the thing uh, uh, that that is a percentage if you cali if you are not calculated previously you will not get the answer immediately here t and v together the percentage becomes 24 option d is the right answer for this question option d next question how many students prefer beverage Q and beverage T together? Beverage Q that is uh, 16 percentage and beverage T, uh, beverage T that is uh, 18 percentage, right? This is 16 percentage and this is 18 percentage. These two percentages we are talking about. So calculate uh, Q and T together, which is equal to Q is 16 percentage and uh, t is 18 percentage 16 plus 18 which is equal to 34 percentage 34 percentage and we all know that uh, total percentage is always 100 percentage 100 percentage is equal to 6800 now we need to calculate q and t together which is 34 percentage 34 percentage is equal to what is the answer 6800 into 34 divided by 100 here two zeros two zeros gets cancelled now we need to calculate the product of these two 68 and 34 uh, 8 4 is a 32 3 is the carry forward here it is 24 plus 24 48 48 plus 3 48 plus 3 51 5 is the carry forward and 6 3 is 18 18 plus 5 23 2 3 1 2 2, 3, 1, 2, that is the total number of students from Q and T beverages together. 2, 3, 1, 2. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Last question, this session. See here, the number of students who prefer beverage are, are approximately what percent of number of students who prefer beverage? Yes. Here, R is what percent of yes out of value will always comes under denominator and whenever you are calculating a percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is a common thing therefore r value the percentage of r is what percent of uh, yes so r by s yes into 100 we don't want to calculate the exact answer we want only the approximate answer we want only the approximate answer so r is equal to here this is a four percentage as we calculated previously and s is equal to 34 percentage okay now from this it is very clear that uh, 4 by 34 4 by 34 right uh, 34 percentage here it is uh, 
34 percentage into 100 percentage, right? So, uh, if it is denominator, suppose for example, instead of 34, if we had taken uh, 32, it will be cancelled, right? Uh, or else you can do one thing, keep it as 34, uh, 4, 8 times uh, 32 and next uh, 2 will be left over, 20 means uh, that is 8.5. 1 by 8 is equal to 1 by 8 into 100, that we know that answer is 12.5 percentage. 1 by 8 of 100 percentage, which is 12 percentage, whereas coming to 1 by 8.5 into 100, this particular value is, as the denominator is greater, as the denominator is greater than this 8, whenever denominator increases, value will be less than 12.5. Value will be less than 12.5, right? So, value less than 12.5 uh, and somewhat close to 12.5. Among the options, uh, as we are calculating the approximate answer, that is the reason why I am not calculating the exact answer. Directly, I will go with the options. Uh, among the given options, 9%, 12%, 16, 24, 19. 12 percentage that is our answer why because the answer must be somewhat close to 12.5 and uh, uh, less than 12.5 so among the options option b satisfies the condition so that is the answer for this question guys i hope you understand each and every problem in this uh, model and uh, whenever the problems are given in this kind of uh, uh, you know related to degrees uh, first you need to convert them into percentage so that the calculation part will be easy Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.